Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make a very yummy ceviche. It's really tasty, really quick and easy to make. And it's a good snack whenever you got the munchies. Alright, first you'll want to juice a couple lemons. You can use lemon juice from a bottle. However, for our purposes, the acids in the fresh lemons will be much better. Now take 100 grams of tilapia or whitefish of your choosing, or even shrimp. Shrimp is very tasty. And you're going to dice it up into small chunks. Next, get some fresh cilantro. God, I love cilantro. Mm. Bunch it all together with one hand and then chop it up into small pieces. Then dice it up a little bit so we can get some really small pieces. Perfect. Take a medium sized tomato, usually about the size of your fist, and you're going to dice this up into small pieces as well. You will also need some minced garlic and some minced or chopped onions. In a mixing bowl, add three tablespoons of the lemon juice we squeezed earlier. Next, add your diced tilapia, whitefish, or shrimp. The acids in the lemon juice will actually cook this fish, so there's no need to pre-cook it. Stir it up a little bit. This will cover the fish in the lemon juice and will give the acid a chance to do its job. Add about one tablespoon of chopped or minced onion. Add one clove of minced garlic. Next, stir it up and get all of the ingredients combined together. At this point, you can already start to tell that the lemon is doing its job. Next, we add my favorite ingredient, your cilantro, and mix it up thoroughly. Now we add our diced tomatoes to the mixing bowl and mix it up some more. Just like the lemons, the acid in these tomatoes are going to contribute and help cook the fish. Add a little bit of salt and some pepper. You'll want to taste it to make sure that it tastes perfect to you. And of course, mix it together. At this point, I'm going to add some hot sauce. The hot sauce that I will be using is Catapatio. It is a very mild hot sauce, and I think it will pair very well with the flavors of this dish. Of course, you can add different types of hot sauces to get different types of flavors. You can even use cayenne pepper if you like, or forgo the spiciness altogether and leave it as is. It's still very tasty. Sometimes ceviche can be a fickle mistress, so make sure that you taste test it so that it tastes the way that you want it to, and if you need to, add additional spices to make it taste the way you want it to. Once it's mixed thoroughly, place the ceviche in a Tupperware container and store it in the refrigerator until ready to eat. I want to eat some now, so I made myself a little cupful. Mmm, yum. <laughs> and that's pretty much it to making ceviche. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's go ahead and take a bite. You can eat it right out of your little little glass or cup just like that. Oh my god. That is really tasty. Oh. <laughs> Normally I use ceviche with crackers, but since you can't use crackers on HGG, I went ahead and grabbed a melba toast. Mmm, isn't that tasty? So that looks good. We'll have a bite of this. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> wow. This? Is amazing. Um, if words can't express how tasty this is, it really is good. The whole thing you can eat as a meal or you can periodically snack on it throughout the day. I leave that in the refrigerator for up to a week and throughout the day if I have the munchies, I'll go in there and take a spoonful and just have a bite and that's about it. Um, some people say that that's not a good thing to do during HCG. I find myself getting a little, a little picket, peckish, so I'll go in there and just take a bite real quick and it usually Souls me till the next meal. So, um, if you guys like it, go ahead and make it. Tell me how it turns out. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Besides that, though, you guys have a great, wonderful day. Bye!